Ease me up, I don't tell you. I don't be your nobody. I don't be your nobody else. So love me. Ease me up, I don't tell you. I don't be your nobody. I don't be your nobody else. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to your Tobago Thursday edition of the Now Morning Show, where we will soon be talking about ways that we are putting better things into our bodies, starting at the community level, as one community has decided to take things into their own hands by growing their own crops using hydroponics. So, guys, do you actually know what hydroponics entails or what it is? Teach me. Oh, no, what is that face? <laughs> I, 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 I've heard about the yeah. version of it that took place in Yui. Ah, okay, I, there we go. So, and I don't mean in the official campus, I mean in the man dorm room who got locked up. Oh, but that's oh, a different story okay, altogether, that was right? Real news, though. That is, that, okay. that's the hydroponics I hear about. So tell me more, Enko. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually an ingenious way of planting okay. uh, where you're using water, but it also creates its own little ecosystem, mm -hmm. if you will. So it allows for fish farming as well, in addition to crop farming, uses smaller areas and a lot less water mm -hmm. because you are creating a system that yeah. cycles through a number of usage, ultimately. Now, we're going to have an expert tell us more about it. So this morning, hopefully we can get connected to Miss Lindy Ann Parks, the president of the HLA, and that's Hamden, Lowlands, and Orkinskew Community Council on the line with us. Good morning, Lindy Ann. Are you with me? Good morning, Ainka. Good morning to, well, everyone in studio, because I'm morning. on the phone, I'm not able to see. Good morning, Rokas. <laughs> uh, good morning to your viewers, listeners, and of course, a special good morning to Tobago. <laughs> of course. Tobago is leading the way, at least in terms of this district, giving us a little bit of insight into hydroponics, as I was trying to share with my co-hosts. Can you give us a little bit of a definition of what exactly it entails before we get into the actual commissioning? Okay, well, the hydroponics system, um, you know, it's of course mainly an organic type system, and so it's... Uh, well, I, I would say, you know, the new type of agriculture thrust going forward. Mm -hmm. um, what I would say from, because I was not very familiar with, I mean, I knew of hydroponics, but in terms of that actual hands-on experience, I was not very familiar with it prior to this project. And so it was a really great learning experience for us. What we realized, uh, more, especially with the training aspect of it, mm -hmm. is that it's pretty much scientific. Mm -hmm. So though... Um, some people may think, you know, it looks easy, you know, you have a nice set up, um, you know, your crops, easy access, and, you know, that's, so in, you know, set up in a nice greenhouse and so on. But the actual uh, money, you, because you have to, you know, monitor um, how our system works, it, it's, um, it comes on like three times per day, you know, via a pump system. And, of course, you know, the nutrient mix, and you have to ensure your pH levels are, uh, you know, in check and, you know, so it is, it does take some work, right. you know, um, but it is a beautiful thing. And of course, the end result in terms of the produce you are able to get, um, I'm not certain if you all are able to show some of the photos that I sent, but, you know, we had a first harvest and our produce was absolutely beautiful, very healthy looking and it healthy taste, might I add. Yes, very healthy tasting as well. So, you know, and knowing that it is um, organic um, based, you know, in terms of not having to use um, fertilizers and, you know, like lots of chemical type components. So, right. you know, we are really, yeah, we are really happy for this type of system in the community. Right. Now, this particular system has been long coming, at least since 2022, been in the works. And the commissioning will yes. be happening on the 16th of November this Today, year yes. at 11 a.m. <laughs> now, in terms of <laughs> yes. the commissioning, it means that it will be then open and accessible to the public and the training and those sort of sessions continuing. What exactly does that entail for the layman? Okay, so... You know, let me, um, so, all right, we have the commission in today, and yes, um, as you did say, this, of course, has been a process. Um, it started in 2022, and this project, um, you know, it, it has been gifted to us through Habitat for Humanity. Right. This is one of their initiatives, and 
So they would have signed a memorandum of understanding with the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Village and Community Councils. This was in 2022. Mm -hmm. um, because Habitat, I mean, you know, not really wanting to speak for Habitat. Unfortunately, they couldn't be on this morning. But, you know, just from what would have been shared, you know, they have been doing projects, you know, of, of this nature in Trinidad, and of course it's Trinidad and Tobago, and they felt very strongly that Tobago needed to be incorporated. And so, you know, they um, made inquiries and so on, and uh, they were able to sign on with the Association of Village and Community Councils. And to, in Tobago, um, the Bethel community and our community, we, you know, are the two first ones because there will, from my understanding, there will certainly be others in the future. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we were just the first one. So Bethel Zone um, is up and running and, you know, a few months ago. And so, you know, it's our turn now. Um, our greenhouse was constructed in August. Um, you know, we then had our first uh, planting and harvesting. And um, now it's the official handing over the commissioning ceremony, the official handing over from Habitat by Humanity to the Hamden Lowlands Okinskill community. Beautiful. Let's talk a little bit about the community's response therein. I know the official handing over will mean more access, but how will it impact the community altogether? Right. Well, you know, that's the thing. Um, this is really such a wonderful project, and I must... Uh, mention here the bank sponsor that, um, you know, is collaborating with this project with Habitat for Humanity. It's one of their long-standing sponsors, Republic Bank Limited. And, um, you know, so they have, you know, collaborated to have this, um, you know, enacted in our community. And um, in terms of the impact to the community, you know, it's really about encouraging economic and social security it's about being able to provide, you know, healthy produce for the community from the elderly, go right down to the baby. Mm -hmm. It's also about encouraging, um, you know, agriculture as, as a, um, you know, as a, a business, basically, you know, for the young persons in the community. So with this project, we have a mixture of persons in terms of farmers. We have four dedicated I would say five dedicated farmers, mm -hmm. um, four officially and one um, community resident who is so passionate and so interested that, you know, he is um, really hands-on, you know, assisting. And it's a, mix, it's a lovely blend because, you know, you have experienced and young farmers, mm -hmm. um, you know, that, that make up that little team. So, you know, it's, you're able to, to really um, incorporate you know, not just because, you know, some people think you have initiatives and, you know, it's for the young people. And no, we wanted to ensure that there's a blend right. coming out of the community. Beautiful. And that means it sounds like it's something that's accessible to every member of the community. Am I right there, Ed? Yes, certainly it is. Um, in terms of training, um, so this project um, was built by um, an organization, CASA, um, Conscious Agricultural Sourcing Agency. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Um, so they go by the acronym CASA. And they would have uh, constructed, um, you know, they were, of course, um, a part, they are a partner with Habitat. And um, they would have also provided training for the farmers. So, um, and in terms of in the future, because you did ask about, you know, what would happen in the future. And yes, certainly we will look at, you know, further training opportunities, you know, as persons get more interested. Because, you know, sometimes you have to actually kind of see the thing, you know, see the, the actual presence of it. And then you get more people coming on board. So, right. you know, we have been have getting interest, definitely. But we expect to get a lot more as the project goes along. Mm -hmm. When people start seeing that beautiful head of lettuce and the scythe and everything yes. else that you've cultivated, they should yes. certainly want to get those Yes, ones. we have we have had a really great turnout from the community because you know this um, even in terms of of you know where or who we are selling to, it's really primarily for the community. Mm -hmm. uh, we are even selling at uh, reduced prices in terms of what is offered on the market because we want our community to benefit. Right. And so, you know, the community has come out, you know, in support. We, you know, we had lettuce, we had kale, 
seasonings, um, the sive, the shadow benny, the celery, you know, and um, as I said, the yield was really, God has, you know, really blessed us, give thanks to the Creator, you know, most definitely. Without Him, this, yes, this project, I must give thanks because, it, it, you know, it was really a lot, but we are committed and, you know, we really tried our best and this is the result. Beautiful. Well, we're happy to share the good news and the success of your commitment coming out of this project and look forward to the handover being smooth and encouraging even more farmers and more community in the area yes. of Lowlands, Arkansas and Hampton in Tobago. Yes, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> yes, we are also looking forward. Thank you so much. Lindian Parks, thank you very much for joining us this morning, for leading the charge and continuing to make sure that continue that communities rather continue to thrive using innovative methods like this community greenhouse hydroponic farm. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. And in that case, guys, we hope that we've inspired you this Tobago Thursday. Everything is lush, green, and coming to a farm near you. Stick around for even more things that you want to add to your calendar, things that you want to learn about, and more from us here on the Now Morning Show.